Hey everybody, today I want to talk about what I think are the top five pros and cons living in the Tampa Bay area, and we're going to get to it right now. Hey guys, I'm Victoria McGuire. Thanks for tuning into my channel, Living in Tampa. Today I'm going to cover the top five pros and cons of living in the Tampa Bay area, but I'm going to do it just a little bit differently. I'm going to cover five topics that I think can be both pros and cons for living in this area, depending on the type of person you are or how you feel about each of these five things. So let's get to it. So for me, the number one reason living in the Tampa Bay area is so great is the weather. It's always sunny and warm, and we are called the Sunshine State after all. For me, that's a huge pro because I like hot weather, but you might think that this is a con if it's too hot for you. Now in the summer, we are mostly in the 80s and 90s, and we do have a lot of humidity. And we don't really have four seasons to speak of. But hey, for me, it's a pro to have it nice and warm and sunny because I like it hot, and I'd rather be shoveling sand than snow any day of the week. Reason number two is going to be traffic. So traffic can be a little bit challenging in the Tampa area, but it's still very low compared to other areas. In fact, when I get people in town from Seattle or Atlanta that are thinking about moving here and I tell them we've got bad traffic, they pretty much laugh. So to me, that's a big pro is that our traffic is nothing compared to some of these big metropolitan areas. Now the con would be that you've got, you know, not a lot of different ways to get around traffic. So if you're stuck in a traffic jam in some other places, you might be able to take an alternative route or something of that nature. But in Tampa, we've got a lot of bridges, we've got a lot of waterways. So you might not be able to find a way around a traffic jam. And another con would be our lack of public transportation. We really don't have a good subway system or train system or anything of that nature. Um, we do have a few buses that run, but it's not very reliable. And definitely, if you're moving to the Tampa area, you're going to want to have your own vehicle and get around that way because you cannot rely on the public transportation system. Reason number three, there's always a lot to do in the Tampa Bay area. We've got all kinds of attractions. We've got Bush Gardens, the theme park. We've got Adventure Island, which is a water theme park. We've got Mosey, the Museum of Science and Industry, the Straws Center, where there's lots of Broadway shows and theaters and concerts. Uh, we've got Amelie Arena, the Florida Amphitheater, uh, the fairgrounds, Water Street, Riverwalk, uh, restaurants. There's the food scene here is amazing. We've got not only one but two aquariums, and that doesn't even begin to mention our beaches. We've got the nation's best beaches in less than an hour drive from most of the Tampa Bay area and they were voted number one in the nation year after year. Clearwater Beach, we've got St. Pete, and then a lot of little smaller beaches in between that are a little less touristy. Now, you might be thinking, what could the con to all that be? Well, it could be the traffic again. If you don't uh, enjoy sitting in traffic, going to some of these events is going to be a lot of traffic. We've got all our sporting events as well. Um, we've got major sports team for every sport. So if you're a sports fan, you want to watch baseball, we've got the Rays. If you want to watch football, we've got the Bucks. We recently got Tom Brady on the Bucks. Uh, hockey, we've got the Lightning, and we've even got soccer covered with the Tampa Bay Rowdies. So there's literally something for everyone to do in Tampa. But that con could be the traffic that goes along with that and maybe you're just the kind of person that doesn't like to go and do things, and that's okay too. Reason number four, the cost of living. Tampa is very affordable, and even when you compare it to other cities in the state of Florida. Now, our housing prices are amazing. In fact, in 2019, our median home price was only $219,000. Now I've got a whole nother video all about the cost of living in Tampa. You might wanna check that one out too, especially if you're considering moving here. But that to me is a really big pro. Now, the only way that this one really could be a con is if you were moving from somewhere like Alabama or Tennessee, where maybe the prices are more affordable than here. Uh, but Tampa prices in general are still really great when compared to the rest of the United States. 
Reason number five, hurricanes. Now, Florida definitely has its fair share of hurricanes, but the pro for me is that Tampa hasn't had a direct hit in a long, long time. In fact, I think it might have been 1921 when we had our last major direct hit. We do have storms, and of course, we do have to prepare for the worst whenever storms are headed for our state, but Tampa is definitely a lot less likely to get hit than other areas. Uh, at least in my opinion. And we've been here a long time. We Even when Hurricane Irma came here, um, we didn't really have any damage to speak of. And even though we did, like I said, prepare and you've got to be ready for these things and definitely they're nothing to shrug off. But I think Tampa is a lot luckier than some other areas of our state. Now, a major con to the hurricane situation is of course that worry and fear that you might have of them. And then insurance. So because there are so many hurricanes that come to the state of Florida, um, our homeowner's insurance is a lot higher than some other states. But again, there are pros and cons to everything. There you have it, the top five pros and cons of living in the Tampa Bay area, in my opinion. As I said, these can be a pro or a con, depending on the type of person you are and how you feel about these five things. To me, there's no better place to be. If you've got questions about this or Tampa in general, don't hesitate to reach out. You can give me a call, send me an email, shoot me a text. However you want to communicate with me is fine. I'm always available, and when it comes to moving to Tampa, I've got your back. Hey, do me a favor and hit the subscribe button and ring the little bell so that you'll be notified every time I release a new video. Thanks for watching.